to Abraham Clark High School, where my senior year I averaged 25 points. I broke the all-time single season scoring record. Come on. One, two, three. There you go, good left, good left. Let's work on this left. Work on this left. That's what they're doing. He's showing him to work until. Even if you're tired, work until. Even if you don't feel like doing it, you work until. And you know, when you work that hard and you have that preparation, I mean, it just takes your confidence to another level than you already had. And you know, preparation leads to success. So Marcus Thornton, Thornton along that baseline, into the lane, down the lane with a massive dunk. Coach Godwin, what can I say about Coach Godwin? Um, he's an awesome mentor, an awesome trainer. <laughs> to the University of North Florida. I broke the score record in two and a half years. And uh, so much that I got, you know, noticed by the Orlando Magic. And um, I got invited to a pre-draft workout. as well as when to use certain moves and how to set defenders up. Uh, Coach Godwin's drills and skills have definitely helped my son in terms of developing his skill set. And due to my ankle injuries, I just couldn't go anymore. So I decided that um, I was going to end my career right then and there. And that's with the Orlando Magic um, in that pre-draft workout. I decided to, to take all that knowledge and go into coaching. basketball training uh, everyone has their own philosophies I think that it all starts with um, evaluation uh, you truly have to be able to evaluate a kid in order to see exactly what he needs um, you can have all the drills in the world but if you're not giving this kid the right drills then obviously he's not going to grow uh, now when it comes to my personal basketball training philosophy I have um, a two-tier system um, first tier is the operational side of basketball and that's the the two ball dribbles and you know the, um, the standing drills the, all right make sure you're driving that ball through the floor all right hard all right ready let's go cross cross come on come on come on cross there you go cross and um, then you have the functional drills, okay? The functional drills are actually um, moves that you can actually do in the game. And that's what I teach my kids as well. Come on. Let's go. There you go. All right, one dribble over here, one dribble. One dribble, Steph. Um, when I first, you know, evaluate a kid, you know, I see, you know, how well his handle is. I take him through some operational drills to just see where he's at. And then from there, I go on to the functional drills. Now everyone knows the kid that's very, very good uh, with the operational drills. You know, you see him and the kid's working out, he's doing all these drills, you know, he can actually get in front of a big crowd and, and, and do all this stuff and then the lights come on and he's actually playing in the game and you say, well, what happened to all that handle? You know, what, what happened to that jump shot? Well, that's because he's an operational guy and as a basketball trainer, you have to be able to see, okay, I need to work on more functional stuff for this guy. Being able to separate the step back move, crossovers, um, how and when to go behind the back, you know, things like that that are more functional. First one, the Tony Parker spin. So you're coming around here, you're coming down on the guy, hit it with the Tony, but as we're doing it, reverse pivot, finish. All right, so come on. There you go. Good move, good move. There you go. Good move. 
Ah, footwork, there you go. Come on, come on, hit him with it. To move on. So, with, with my kids, I just want to e equip them as much as possible, um, both mentally and physically, and, and, I, and I see what they need. You know, we're going to work on both. We're, we're probably always going to start off with the operational drills, uh, the two ball drills, the ball handling drills, and then we move on later in the workout to the functional, finishing at the basket, um, like I said before, the step back moves, uh, separating, just, just different things that are actually, um, that you can apply during the game. Now, once you get that all together, um, the evaluation, all right, and whether the kid needs more operational or functional, I mean, you, you can really, really start to train players and, and train them at a high level. Um, being that you'll start to see results, you know, the parents will come back to you be like coach I mean that move you show them or this you just you start to hear stuff and, and that's when you, you really know that you're on to something uh, Coach Kalan Godwin uh, He's been working with my nephew Derek Dixon who's a rising ninth grader right now And I've seen a tremendous change in his game ability uh, court awareness and work ethic uh, it has, It's been a great pleasure for Coach Godwin to, to take an interest in the Derek and to develop his game the right way. You know, I have a philosophy. It's called the work until philosophy. And what this philosophy basically dictates is that you work until you master whatever it is. You work until, you know, you master coming off the screen, inside foot, mm -hmm. being able to knock down that shot. Uh, you work until uh, you can dribble with either hand and pull up. You work until, you, you know, you can post that guy up and not have them get around you so you can drop step for that layup. All right, so you, you work until, and I think this is a philosophy that I like to, to, um, to teach my kids because you, it goes beyond, it transcends the game of basketball and it goes into their life. All right, we're here, man. This is where I grew up, Roselle, New Jersey. Uh, right now on the borderline of uh, Roselle and Linden, um, sort of like Twin Cities, you know, Roselle, but the same area, you know, close to Elizabeth, not too far from North Airport. Um, yeah, this, this is where I grew up, St. George's Ave, so they, they call this area the Ave. A lot of guys got caught up, you know, with drugs, you know, being in the mix, so to speak. And, um, you know, this, and this is where a lot of stuff happened. And um, growing up, I remember guys, you know, being in high school, you know, around that 15, 16, guys pretty much, you know, want to do what they want to do. And some people chose um, this route. You know, they, they chose to get into drugs and hang out. And, um, you know, some of the trappings of an urban area, but, but at the same time, you know, one of the things that saved me from this was just basketball. You know, I, I didn't have time for all this. You know, if it, if it wasn't about basketball, I, I just wasn't into it. You know, I, I knew what was out. You know, this is where it all started as far as me basketball training. Uh, one, one of the things I said in my Hall of Fame speech, you know, I was on this court uh, when I was about eight or nine years old, ten years old. And that's when, you know, I was a little guy. You had the big guys here playing and, and they would, you know, run down there, we'd come on, get our shots up, and as soon as they come back, we'd get out the way. But one of the guys was, was from the area, and I uh, went to my high school, and he, and he was very well known. And I remember coming up to him, and I expected him to give me some type of knowledge, some type of insight, and uh, some, some type of way to get better. And um, he kind of said, da he gave me a little something, he struck me to the side. And from that day forward, and I don't know what happened, but something turned on in me. And, um, that's when it all started and me really wanting to help people get to the next level because I didn't want anybody to feel, you know, the way I felt, you know, when, when he did that. So fast forward, the same court, a kid named Mike, you know, he comes up the house, he's watching what I'm doing, working on ball handling, you know, working on my jump shot, and um, you know, he asked me to help him out. So him and my little cousin, I would take them through drills here, and um, I'd be here all night, you know, all night, you know, getting it done. You know, when you work that hard and you have that preparation, I mean, it just takes your confidence to another level than you already had. And, you know, preparation leads to success. So being prepared, you know, and having the skills because of the preparation, you know, when it's, when it's time to play, you know, you're ready, you're excited, and you go out there and you handle your business. A player that, that really exemplifies that work to philosophy, um, 
I would say is Marcus Thornton. He's Marcus Thornton. Thornton along that baseline, into the lane, down the lane, what a massive dunk. Wow, what an athletic play by Marcus Thornton. One of my guys, uh, Marcus Thornton, actually, you know, went right here to Bishop Bangalore. And the thing I love about him is that, you know, there's a quote, um, there's no elevators to success, you have to take the stairs. And what that means is, you know, a lot of guys want to play varsity right away for the, for the notoriety, you know, for the people in the, fan, in the stands. But Marcus went freshman as a freshman, sophomore JV, and then he was prepared to, to go varsity as a junior. And um, I think that it really helped his development and also his confidence because that summer between his sophomore and junior year, he actually got a Division One scholarship offer. And um, who knows what, what would have happened if he was just been on the varsity team early and not playing. Um, he had the opportunity to, to really go step by step. And, and he had to fight for everything he got. You know, he wasn't the Marcus he is now as a freshman. You know, he had to work and he put in the workout. And, and this is just a kid that'll work out in the morning you know, with someone else and come see me in the afternoon and then go to another workout. So um, Marcus is definitely going to be a professional player. Um, I look forward to, to just from there. his progress. Hand off right here. Calling out the dribble move. Right now it's a double move. So let's right see your shot. All right. Pass the ball. Get it back from Tlaib. Da da da. Right to your shot. Double move. All right. All right, hold on. Let me make this more interesting. Let's go. Single move first. Crossover. Between the legs. Behind the back. Those single moves. Make two of those. Double move. One, two. Make two of those. Then a triple move. One, two, three. Make one of those. All right, ready? Go. Wait. There you go. There you go. One. Two. There you go. Double, double. Hey, there you go. Good job. I need two triples too, go ahead. Good job, come on. Two triples. Good move, good move. Here you go. One, two, three. All right, two threes, two threes, come on. Come on. Good job. Way to shoot, Marcus. Way to come back. Yes, sir, come on. Good job, Marcus. That's good work right there. of this whole 11 championships that we have up here. Appreciate, right. appreciate that. Appreciate that, fellas. <laughs> fellas, uh, uh, first and foremost, man, uh, thank God for the opportunity to come back and just talk with you guys. I mean, when I look at you guys, you mean, it was just a couple years ago that I was in your shoes, all right? And because of, of my belief in God and, and my work ethic and this thing right here, I was able to, to travel everywhere and on the go, all right? I've been all around the country, been to Hawaii, I mean, this, this basketball, for me, represented a way out. Good. Jameer Mochi, Bishop McNamara, freshman. I've been training with Coach Galvin for about three years now. He helped me improve my game on and off the court and give me the confidence to play my game. <laughs> Welcome back to Jumpstart Hoops, Coach Karan Gawa. I'm here with Jamil Moultrie. Right now, it's the summertime, so we're working on all parts of his game, working on his ball handling, working on shooting off the dribble, also the catch, all right? But one of the things that I want to do with him is we're going to work on individual moves, all right? Creating space, getting open, coming around screens, you know, how to use the screen. So we're, we're going to encompass all this in this workout, so pay attention. All right, baseline. Go. Go. Come on. Quick, quick, here you go, here you go. Good job, Jermaine, come on. Here you go, quick, head up, here you go. Good job, good job, good job. Between legs back, come on, come on. Hand it that rock, hand it that rock, come on. Go, come on, here you go, here you go. Go, Tim Hardaway the other way. Here you go, come on. Good work, good work, quick hand, quick hand. There you go, good job. Uh, Jameer is a guy that I got the opportunity to coach at a young age. Um, when I get a kid that early, you know, I can really instill philosophies and I can really build upon this game. 
one of the first things we did was, was we fixed his jump shot. You know, he had a pretty good handle, you know, and we actually got that better. But um, we, we actually fixed his jump shot. And once we did that, we went on to the ball handling drills. Um, we, we went on to, to being able to shoot with either hand. We went on to going off screen, screens. And um, one thing about uh, Jameer is he exemplifies just just work ethic. You know, when I think about guys that, that actually want to work, I mean, he'll text me, you know. Uh, and he'll, he'll call me like, Coach, we need to get in the gym. And that, that's very rare, you know, especially with the high-level workouts that, that we go through. And that guys really, really want it. And, um, and he's just a kid that you can see in his eyes. Um, Jameer Moultrie is my son. He's working out with Coach Godwin for about two, two and a half years now. Um, he's done an, Coach Godwin has done an excellent job with helping him develop his skill set. But also helping him de develop mentally as well. He's been giving him some tools and tips to help him get through some game and pressure situations, as well as when to use certain moves and how to set defenders up. Uh, Coach Godwin's drills and skills have definitely helped my son in terms of developing his skill set. Um, like I said, he's been working out with Coach Godwin for about two, two and a half years. So you know, it's been it's been a, it's been a pleasure and it's been a blessing uh, for us to have the opportunity for Coach Godwin to work with um, Jameer, and I think this has really helped this game. He went uh, to National Fab Frost Camp, which is, recognizes you know some of the best freshmen in the country or incoming freshmen in the country. In Kentucky, also the Chris Paul National Camp that recognized some of the best players in the country. So um, Jameer had just, this is just the tip of the iceberg for him. Um, he's gonna have a great high school career and I just look forward to, to coaching him. Jump, jump till we get hit. One, two, three, four, pick this up. You go snap. All right, till we get that, we coming around this screen. Catch and shoot. Till we get that, we coming around that screen. Don't forget to set your man up. All right, let's go. Come on. Two, one, two, three, four. There you go. Do your step, good job. Come on, let's get it. Good shot, let's go. Come on. always say this. I may not be talking to everyone right now. I may be planting seeds in somebody here. But I'm always looking for that 1%. You know what I'm saying? As, as I look at you guys, I'm looking at everybody in the eye. See, everybody don't have what it takes to be successful. And when, I, when I say be successful, I'm talking about on the court and off. Talib Zana. Uh, Talib Zana um, is actually a senior right now at the University of Pitt, and and I got the opportunity to work with him. You know, going into his his um, senior year. Pass. One, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Come on. Work. 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 Come on. Pass. Lead. Come on. One, two, three, four, there you go, there you go, that's two. And uh, one of the things I know right away is that he really wanted it. You know, we, we went over some things about this game that we wanted to take to another level. You know, being that he's a, a lot older than other guys and he has NBA scouts that are watching, uh, you want to pinpoint different areas that are going to give you the advantage and make you more marketable as it pertains to, to a professional team. And um, to leave this summer, I mean, he just, I picked him up. He was always willing and ready. And we went out there, and, and he really took his game to another level. I mean, he can handle the rock, surprisingly, you know, at his height, 6'9". Um, he probably only needs one, of, one to three dribbles to be able to do anything, but he can handle the rock. Also has a nice touch. So um, I think he's going to have an incredible year at Pitt, tons of energy. He averaged um, over 25, I think, in, in the program league. And uh, he's just a versatile guy. He can shoot, he can score, um, he can run, he's a jackrabbit, and um, just a great athlete and, and even a better person. So um, I know he's going to be playing professional, and um, I, I'll just continue to work with him um, even after the senior year. He's going to continue to work until. So we're going to go jump hook middle, left hand, 
Touch the block, come around there, shot. Touch here, come around this screen. Shot. You got it. There you go, two. Come on. There you go, Talit. Three. That's it. Four. Come on. Come on. Five. Come on, Tilly. Come on, Tilly. When you when coach made you guys take the pledge, all right, that pledge was the pledge to work until. All right. That right there is a secret sauce. It's God first work until. What does that mean? Work until a guy come to me and say, Coach, man, how how many jump shots do I have to shoot? Well, you shoot until. Coach, how long I gotta work on my ball handling? I'm, I'm trying to get my ball handling to the next level. Well, you you work until. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you have that philosophy of working until, you know, you can't be beat. You can't. Like, you, you can't tell me what I can do and what I can't do. The minute I lock in, all right, it's over. Because I'm working until. You know what I'm saying? And that's the philosophy, the mentality that you guys have to have on this court and off this court. Because at, at, the, at the same time, I know we're in the basketball court, but we got to handle things in that classroom. You got to handle things. I've been working out with Godwin since I was in the sixth grade, so for about five years. I think the most important thing that he taught me was how to score, and that is what has made me most effective on the high school level. And I'm truly blessed to have a trainer like him to help me with my development. Let's settle this one with your best fighter of this year. What can I say about Coach Godwin? Um, he's an awesome mentor, an awesome trainer. Um, he teaches KP about the game of basketball and um, his skill sets today, I can say truly has a lot to do with Coach Godwin. Hey, I'm regarding you, putting hands on you, between the legs, contact, pull up. All right, I want you to start using your between legs. You so long, like I remember a while ago, you're playing against Aaron and uh, Jameer. Like, those guys are quicker and shorter than you. So what you want to do is, all you want to do is get an angle on them, all right? And once you get an angle on them, you go between the legs, and you can get a chance to get around them, they're dead. And once you get in this area right here, shot. Come on, okay? There you go. There you go. Attack the basket. Let me cut you off. I'll cut you off. Keep going. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good job. Um, Cody Pugh. Cody Pugh is another guy that I've had the opportunity to work with since uh, 12 or so. And uh, right away, you know, you saw the kid, he was long and lanky, and you know he was going to be a tall guy. I think the doctor said he's going to be around 6'10 to 7 foot. And, and um, he's another kid that, that, you know, I tell the kids right away, you know, the whole goal, first, your first goal is to come in and to work, go 100. That means go 100% the whole workout, which is very hard to do, especially when you're talking about an hour workout, and it's just me and you, or, or me, you, me, and a small group. And and Cody just took it to the limit. I mean, I, I had him and Jermaine together, and other guys that work hard, and these guys give it their all, and it, and it really pays off. I mean, him being 6'6", and being able to handle the ball like he does, is a testament to that work he was putting in when he was 5'9". When you see KP play, um, KP plays with numerous skill sets. That's not just one thing that KP can do. Um, Coach Godwin has taught him how to read the defense and how to be able to score, whether it's with a drive, whether it's with a, a jump shot. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, break him down, break him down. Come on. There you go. There you go. Um, and it, he just had like an awesome year to um, have those skill sets to be able to be playing small forward, pull that rebound down, not depending on the small guard. 
taking it coast to coast. Um, oh, Godwin, a lot of that. Um, thank God for Godwin. And thank God for putting him in our circle and in our space to be a part of KP's development. Um, I could sit here and talk to you forever about um, Godwin and about KP and the impact that he's had on, um, on KP's life. <laughs> See, see, in order for you to be successful, you, you gotta, you gotta separate yourself, man. You know, work until the philosophy, but what you're trying to get yourself to be is exceptional. Ooh, what a word, what a philosophy. What does that mean? Being exceptional, it means you separate yourself. All right, it means that 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 you're different. You know, I know you guys listen to hip hop. You know what I'm saying there's some people you listen to that's all right. There's other people that's, uh, that are exceptional. All right, they turn into business. You know what I'm saying you see them on Instagram. You know, you, you see them, you know, Diddy flying planes and all that. It's exceptional. You're separating yourself. Okay, you work until so you do something like that. But the reason why I can accomplish all this is because in that classroom, I had the same philosophy as on this court. You know what I'm saying I need A's. Down in Florida, Port St. Lucie. It's always good to be back in Florida. Obviously, I spent 10 years down in, in Jacksonville, at the University of North Florida, and then started my co my coaching career in Florida. But uh, right now, we're going to go and uh, train EJ Montgomery, who is a tremendous prospect uh, out of this, out of this area. Uh, only in eighth grade, but he's already 6'10". So, I mean, I, I've never seen that before. And, uh, and he's actually a guard. EJ Montgomery. Now EJ is a kid that I actually got a call about. Um, you know, one of my colleagues, Coach Duso, gave me a call and he said, look, I got this kid that's only in eighth grade, but he's 6'10 and he's a guard. Now right then you can just imagine, you know, I'm on the phone, like, okay, is he exaggerating? Is the kid really 6'6? Six, six? Is he 6'7? Is he but then he actually sent the picture and um, the kid was standing in the doorway and he was 6'10". He said, you got to come down and, and, and train. So we are going to take a little workout and work with some ball handling, finishing, shooting off the dribble, um, you know, just, just, just helping him take his game to the next level. He's definitely a name and a, and a guy that, that you're going to hear and, 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 um, for years to come. So. Right away, you know, I, I saw that, that this kid was special. You know, he, he was really 6'10", um, great handle, um, you know, has a great touch as far as his shot. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to go down there and train him. But um, it, it's very rare that, that you get a kid that has this combination of talent and height. Now we're taking it to another level. So we come up here, five, bounce this one, Tim Holloway. One, two, three, four, five, bang, bang, bang. One, two, three, four, five, bang, bang, bang. All right. There you go. Good job. Come on. Work, work. Keep the head up. All right. Hold up. I ain't gonna go the other way. Good workout, right? Good stuff, all right? Hey, we gonna take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of talent and a lot of ability. You know, talent is from God. That's what God gives you. You got nothing to do with that. Skill is what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. A lot of talented guys out there that don't put in the work. They don't have any skill. All right, we want you to be multifaceted. You know what I'm saying? You can handle the rock, you can go inside, you can go outside. That's skill. So you always concentrate on that. Skill. All right, ready? Very rare. You know, I, I train thousands of kids and um, some very, very good ones. But I've never seen a kid with, with that, that growth spurt that early still keep his coronation. So with, with EJ, um, you know, he, he has big time potential and he just has to continue to work on that skill set, continue to work on that skill set. Because we don't know, you know, he's 6'10 and 8th grade, I mean, what is he going to be as a senior? He could be 7'2", for all we know. 
Now, if you master this move, it's unstoppable. I don't care where you are. You get in the post, you get in the position of your baby hook, you're good. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, a guy like Ralph Sampson, you know, 73, still handle the ball. So you, you know it's possible. So uh, right now he's a guard, he's probably going to play the wing. Um, and his high school, he's actually in eighth grade, but they allow him to, to play high school at the eighth grade in there, which is very, very fortunate for him because, you know, of his talent and skill level, he's going to start varsity. And um, he's going to continue to work with him, you know, because he comes from a great family, both of his parents are coaches. And um, I'm just going to continue to go down there and work with him because, um, you know, the, the kid's talent is just enormous. And um, he's, he's just going to do great things in the future. You know, just honing his skill set and, and just staying at it. You know, so he's, he's a great kid, and um, yeah, I can look in his eye and tell that, that he's ready to work and he's ready to do what it takes to um, to really get to that next level. All right, welcome back, Bishop McNamara. It's all family here. Uh, right now, we're doing something a little bit out of the box. You know, we decided to go the boxing training route. The coach ready here. Okay, if, if you guys want to be successful, you got to work until. All right, you gotta work until you're tired. You gotta work until you master whatever you're doing. Okay, so we got Marcus here, our alum, our Marcus story. We got Sam Green. All right, we got Kyle. All right, we got Brandon. We're bringing you across, and we got Tariq. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go work, Kyle. Let's go work. I like you moving your hand. Come on, big sir. Big sir, come on. Let's go. Come on, Tariq. Good job, Marcus. Let's go, B. Yes, Sam. Quick. Hit me from here to here. If I grab you, get loose. Remember, think. Use your mind. It's just like anything else. But in boxing, like they always say, dumb boxers. Boxers ain't dumb. But sometimes you get a stick. You got to use your mind. When you're in there fighting, it, it, it's a fight. You get mad? Get mad. I don't mind. Jumping around, messing around with tires and stuff like that. I thought I was gonna be on the bench. Oh, hey, hey. What about you, B? What'd you think? <laughs> you underestimated it? What about you, Sam? <laughs> no? Uh, but it's a good work, right? Good work. There you go. Come on. Come on, Marcus. Fight through it, baby. There you go. There you go. Fight through it, Marcus. Fight through it. Come on. How bad do you want it? We gotta work. Work it too. Work it too. Work. Work, Marcus. Work. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. There you go. There you go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Final stretch. Final stretch. Work it too. There you go. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. There you go. Good job, baby. Play the year. Good, good work. Good work, baby. Good work. To Marcus Gordon. Marcus with seven. Marcus gets a pick, crosses the timeline. Marcus with three seconds. Marcus on the right side, goes up for three. Good at the buzzer. William and Mary has won this ball game. Marcus Thornton has hit the three-pointer with no time left. The Tribe has won it 68-66, and this ball game is over. The Tribe has come back from a nine-point deficit. showed me how to get that killer instinct, uh, making up my mind that I can take my defender whenever I want, into the basket or pulling up or 
getting into the open man, creating and attacking for other people. What does the phrase work until mean to you? Uh, work until means me. Uh, I would say that uh, never letting anybody stop you. Never letting yourself stop you. Never limiting yourself to anything. And that you can always uh, go beyond, go beyond uh, what, what you have set for you or what other people have set for you. Um, Aaron Briggs. Aaron Briggs is another guy that got the opportunity and I've been uh, training him about two or three years or so. And I'm proud of him because, you know, we really got into the gym, we really worked on that jump shot, and now he's the type of kid that can go seven in a row. I mean, he's just one of those kids, you know, you got kids that can shoot and then you got kids that can just catch fire at any time. You cannot leave this kid open at all. Um, he has a scholarship offer from Navy. Um, so it's, it, it's great that I, I got the opportunity to, to hone his skills and to, to work with him to take his game to the next level and to become a Division One point guard. And Coach Godwin has been working with him on the, over the last uh, three and a half to four years on um, every aspect of shooting, ball handling, making good decisions, as it, as it relates to um, uh, basketball, life after basketball, going to school, the choices, and uh, just helping them, you know, become a, a well-rounded uh, young man. Come on, come on, come on. Two, come on. Three. See, whenever you hear somebody speak or talk or girl, you want to take something from that person, all right? Well, 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 we got YouTube now. I didn't have YouTube when I, when I was you guys' age. I go and I search millionaires all the time. Millionaires, billionaires. I listen to the interviews, all right? I listen to, to, to the grind, to the struggle. A guy named Howard Schultz, I just came back from Starbucks. A guy from Brooklyn came from the projects to become a billionaire. That's exceptional, you know what I'm saying? I want to know how you did that. How do you do that? How do you go for the project? So if you hear Jay-Z talking about it, right? I'm trying to get a Billy halfway there. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what he's talking about. I can't go the same route. You know, now he has to switch things up because he realizes things change. So how do I get to a Billy? Because I'm at 500 million, I'm stuck. You know, well, you're talking about a guy that did it. And he did it with something that everybody's been doing. All right, coffee. Come on, man. Coffee, really? You know, but what, what did he do? He worked until. When I researched this man, I found out that he's Left hand, one, two, three. Double cross between your legs. Right hand, double cross between your legs. Left hand, double cross between your legs. Now we're coming around here. All right, here's what I want. Keep the dribble. We're splitting this guy. Right hand layup. All right, start with left hand. Go, come on. One, two, three. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Quick, come on. Come on. There you go. Wait, Q. Hold on, Q. I actually coach um, here at Bishop McNamara, uh, which is in the DMV area. And um, this is great because I, I get my fix. I mean, I really love the strategy of the game. And it gives me the opportunity to train but still coach guys. All right, combinations, combinations, left hand, in and out, in and out, Tim Hardaway, in and out, Tim Hardaway, in and out, Tim Hardaway. All right, left hand all the way down, go. There you go. Right hand back, right hand back. All right, you're walking backwards. Go, start walking. We're coming here, in and out, in and out, in and out. After three, we're crossing over. After three, we're crossing over. So, so don't go that fast. All right, so come back, come on. Hey. Left hand on the ball, left hand on the ball. Come on, cross, touch the ball. Quick, quick, touch the ball. 
Your hand got to get back on that ball. All right, hand speed and quickness, keeping your hand up. Keeping your hand up. Ready? Go. Come on, come on. Defense is all about communication and rotation. So here's, here's what I want to do. Boogie, if you have him, right, and you know he's a non-shooter, all right, you're going to say, I'm the pack guy. That means I got help side, all right? You know he's not going to shoot the ball, OK? We're still defending him in the paint, but I need you help side, all right? So whenever you identify or coach says you're the pack guy, that means you have a non-shooter. That means you must be a help side at all times. Everybody has it? Everybody got that? All right, let's go. Boogie pack. Boogie the pack man. Pack man. Come on. Go, go. Bounce pass. Bounce finish. Man, man, you finish that. I found out that he used to be a salesman. All right? He was dirt poor, he became a salesman. He picked up a skill set, just like you guys in basketball. All right? Every day that this gym wasn't open, you know where I was? Harrison. You can find me at Harrison. I'm out there, I'm doing my drills, all right? I'm shooting hundreds of jump shots. You got, out, you got people out there that at that time was selling drugs, doing what they were doing. They are stopping watching me work out. And that was faithfully. I can't get in the gym, I'm on it. Why? Because I'm working until. And, and that really is the philosophy. You keep God first and you work until. Good around in the league, everybody got that, that quick jump. Uh, that's the reason why Kenneth Fareed is 6'7 and in the league. Because he got a great second jump. Ready? Come on. One, two, there you go. Come on. Patterson looks up at it, fires from long range. Not this time. But there's Zana. Yep. Offensive rebounding, touch. Good job. Come on. One, there you go. Patterson. Put back by Zana. Good job. Come on. There you go. Step back jumper. Not this time, but there's Zana. Wow. He just outfought everybody on the weak side. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good job, Lee. I'm a, I'm a semifinal Saturday guy. Talib. Wow. Zana. Come on. Second jump. Quick. There you go. Come on. Good job. Right. Again. Put back with Zana. Monster game. One, two. There you go. Come on, brother. DeMarco Balkum. DeMarco is um, actually one of the top uh, eighth graders in the country right now. I think he's top ten. He's ranked as high as three in the country. And, um, you know, around 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, um, kid that can really do it all. I mean, when you talk about talent, I mean, he has it. You know, the first time I saw him and he walked in the gym, you know, you can just see his talent. Um, we're working on his game, all aspects of it. He has a great handle for his size. He also has a great shooting touch, you know. We're going to work on that footwork and just keep him in the gym. Um, I think that, you know, whenever I can get a kid this young, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, we just get in the gym and I can work on different aspects of the game and kind of pinpoint, you know, because I have more time with them. Back, one, two, three. Back, one, two, finish, three. There you go, come back, come back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on, come on, we got it, we got it. Come on, come on, smooth it out. Smooth it out, there you go, smooth it out. Go, finish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, one more. Let's go, let's go, DeMarco. Come on, come on push yourself. On the cone. Stay low, low. Uh, to do so. And uh, he's willing to come in, he's willing to work. So um, he's already nationally um, known and, and recognized, but that's now. We want, to, we want to keep that going, all right? We want to take it to the next level because people are always coming for your spot. But DeMarco is a great kid, great family. And um, he, the kid works hard and he's going to do great things.
Welcome back to Jumpstart Hoops. Coach Karan Gowan. I'm here with Jameer Moultrie. There's no off-season in basketball. I know a lot of you guys say, okay, I can't get in the gym. It's football season. Well, no excuses, all right? We're taking that pledge to better ourselves, and right now we're better than our ball handling, okay? So the gym's not open right now, so we're out here on the track. We're getting it in, all right? You can be working on your in-and-out dribble, your crossovers. There's so many things you can do to get your game better. Sam Green is, is a guy that um, that just has that Tim Duncan cool um, when it comes to being the post. Um, I, I love working with kids like that because it, when you give them a move and they can actually execute it on the game because they have that cool. So um, Sam Green is, is a guy that plays right here in the position right now, around um, six five, six six or so. He's still growing, you know, plays inside and out. And um, I, I just I just just love his game. And, and what he can do, especially scoring the basketball. So we're going to stay at it and continue to do more moves, um, continue to work on his ball handling and finishing um, so that you know, he can reach his potential in the play. First thing we're going to do is a uh, tough man drill, okay? So you're starting here on the block, okay? You're coming here, you get in contact, and you're finishing, all right? Once you finish, all right, you're trying to make as many layups as you can with contact, all right? Focus on dominating this pad first. So get the pad first, neutralize the athleticism so this guy can't jump, and then you go up, all right? But if you try to go up, I'm gonna hit you, all right? You hit me, okay? That's how I gotta be. All right, dominate this man first. Neutralize the athleticism. There you go. Finish, that's one. Come on, come on. Remember, I told you, get the kid. Hit this guy, there you go, there you go. Come on, come on. I shouldn't be pushing you to the back. Let's go. Come in. Ah. Oh, no more back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Free throws. Kwanzi Samuels is one of those eighth graders that I have with a bright future. He's already taller than me, only in eighth grade. And he's another one of those guys that's projected to be between 6'8 and 7 foot. I'm very excited about Q's future and some of the things that he brings to the table, both height and skill. Now, Obi came to me uh, basically in between his junior and uh, senior year summer. Um, I think that you know his coach, high school coach, just wanted him to, to take that next step. Uh, he was actually a post player where he was at, you know, playing five and four, and uh, wanted to extend his game a little bit. So, so what you want to do is you catch the ball. I want you to get this guy off you a little bit. Just don't go right away. I said go right away. It's better if you jab step this guy, get him leaning, all right? Now we're coming around the screen, inside foot, right left shot, okay? Come on. Let's go. Fingertips. Here you go. Come on, come on. Here you go. Here you go. Make sure you're going around that screen. Come on. Here you go. Obi came to me uh, to work on some ball handling as well as you know, moving things out to the wing. I think it's very, very important that whenever you're, you're training a guy, especially these guys that are 6'8", 6'9", uh, the game has, has changed tremendously. I think the game is moving towards a positionless game. Um, a day will come where there's no more one, two, three, four, five. It's um, just players out there. I mean, you'll probably always have your point guard, but um, as you see, even the center position now is eroding as these, these 
these guys are actually becoming basketball players and being able to do more than just post up and um, block shots. So with a kid like Obi, I uh, just wanted to refine his game. Um, he has a great touch, and you know he can go inside and out. And um, even if he does get put at that power forward position, um, he just committed to Temple not too long ago. Um, he'll be able to put the ball on the floor one or two times and, and get a bucket. So uh, Obi has a tremendous amount of talent, you know, athleticism, and um, just continue to work on the skill work. You know, he, he's going to be all right. Start off here. On a shot here. Okay. Slide. Slide. Shot here. Back pedal. Catch the ball. Pump fake. One dribble. Shot. Over here. Pump fake. Pedal. Shot. Start all over. Keep on going so you make 10. Come on. Slide. Slide. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Slide. There you go. Come on. There you go. Let's work. Pump fake. Okay, nice. Come on. Pump fake. There you go. Count them out. Count them out. And if you really, really want to be successful, it's not even about what happens. Like, it's not even about the fact that, that you played for Roselle and you didn't get a, a scholarship offer. It's not about that. What it's, a, what it's about is the process. Right? You guys got to understand that Whenever you try to be successful with something, let's say you're on a team right now, you're not getting that much playing time, right? Like, for instance, my junior year, you know, I could have just, whatever, transferred. I could have said, okay, I'm better than all these seniors out here, but yet I, I can't start because, you know, there's 12 of them. I could have said that. Now, you got to follow the process because within the process, you're cultivating skills. Let's go. Crossovers. There you go. There you go. Work. Work. Right between the legs. Right. There you go. There you go. Touch the wall. There you go, lead. Good job, lead. Good job. Left. Come on. Left. There you go. Uh, Prentice Hub. He's starting to hit his growth spurt now. Um, I started training him about two years ago. Uh, when he was in, say, sixth grade or so. Uh, now he's in eighth grade, and um, you know, now he, I heard he even dunked the other day, so he's really taking his game to the next level. Right hand, one, two, three, four. Coming right here, around these cones. First thing, Euro step, finish. Come on. All right, left-handed people. But one thing I gotta say is, Falling in love with the process means we got to be disciplined, all right? And there's going to be a lot of times in your life where you can cut corners. Believe me, you can cut corners doing a lot of stuff. You can cheat on a lot of things, all right? But the one thing you can't cheat on is life. One of the pleasures in, in being a, a coach and, and a trainer is that I, I get the opportunity to, to work with the youth, and, and sometimes I even go, you know, young as, as 9 or 10. A lot of you guys breathing hard, all right? That, that means you're going hard. That's good. We're going for a double cross. The reason why I have these cones here is you got to get low. One, two, three, all right? If you can touch the cone, touch it. Don't knock it over. You can't touch it, keep on going. One, two, three, all right? See that? So each cone should be a different hand. I'm in my right hand right now. One, two, three, all right? Now the ball's in my left hand, next cone. One, two, three, all right? Ready? Wait till you get to that third cone, because we got to space out. Some of you guys are probably going to lose the ball, stay low, all right? You get high. I'm going to know. The ball's going to go flying over here. Ready? Right hand. Go. One, two, three. Double cross. There you go. One, two, three. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. One, two. Come on. One, two, three. There you go. Come on. Keep it low. Keep it low. There you go. Come on. Here you go. Work hard. We're working too. Some of you guys, you got to work on going the whole workout 100%. That's really what it's all about. All right? When I, when I was you guys age, I listened to everything everyone said, but it came to a point in time where I was just relying on my talent. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really going hard all the time. And then I got to 12 and 13, 14, people started catching up. So I had to take it to the next level. That's what you guys are. You got to go the whole workout 100%.
working on your footwork, working on a lot of this stuff when I'm not around, all right? God first, come on, let's, let's go work. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Power. So you gotta understand that there are no shortcuts. And I, one of my favorite quotes, all right? There are no elevators to success. You gotta take the stairs. And the reason why I got a call by the Orlando Magic saying, look, we, 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 we've been following your career, we want you to come in, all right? It's because I took the stairs. Uh, Jamar Watson. Jamar Watson is a guy that we call Boogie. And um, uh, Boogie's just, just one of those guys that has the big body and size at a very young age. I mean, even as a ninth ninth grade, he was just as big as me, you know, I'm about 200 pounds, he's about the same, not, if not more, 210, and whenever you have a guy like that, that size, that's high major size, the high major school is always going to look at that, and you've got to be ready, you know, tell me, the skill set has to be there, the fundamentals, all right, triple threat, and um, being able to, to do things fundamentally, so that when they come, they say, okay, he, he's ready for the big time, so uh, he's a guy that's very, very hard to keep out of the paint, very strong, and um, I, I just love being able to coach him and, and train him as well. Steph Curry, half spin. Coming down with your right hand. All right, two legs, half spin. Right to your shot. All right, yep. All right, give me that half spin. Come on. Let's go. There you go. That's better. There you go. Come on. You got it. Come on. There you go. Good job. Come on. All right. Counter. Counter. Hey, God first work hard. Way to work. All right. You know, I expect big things out of both of y'all. All right. Take all this, it got to translate to the court. Go out there with confidence, you know what I'm saying? I need you going at people, you know what I'm saying? At least once or twice a game, let me get something. Let me, let me get that big cross or something, you know what I'm saying? Let everybody know what you got, man. All right, you too. Come on, somebody, hit them with the step cross, man. Let's get this pull up on. Good work, fellas. As fate would have it, Jameer Moultrie and Aaron Briggs actually got the opportunity to go head to head at the end of the 2013-2014 season um, in the playoffs. And um, this picture right here is special to me because this was two or three years ago in this picture. And this is before, you know, anyone knew them um, for the accolades that they later attained. Um, Jameer Moultrie being a freshman, um, averaging around 18 points a game, um, getting second team all conference in WCAC, which is one of the best conferences in the country and um, just garnering a lot of highlights. And um, Aaron Briggs um, taking the Bullets team, which he played for, um, actually undefeated in conference and to the number one ranking in the area. Aaron will actually play for Navy next year, um, which is a great honor to, for anybody to be a division one point guard, being that there's so much competition in that position. And uh, Jameer is already getting a lot of attention from high major um, and mid-major division one schools so so these guys are, are two special players and it goes to show you if you keep god first and work until anything is possible all right you're going to shoot off a screen and roll so he's going to have the ball all right you're going to find him wherever he is marcus you're going to set your man up you're coming around this screen you're going for 15 footers at first all right. All right. Then I'm gonna say the guy you passed to. Come on, find him, find him. Here you go. Good job. Go get him. Come on. All right, move around, move around, move around, Marcus. Move around, Jimmy. Go somewhere else. Come on. Yep. All around the court. Come on. All around the court. There you go. Come on. Get around it. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. Good job, good job. Come on. Find him, find him, find him. Good shot, good shot. Where to shoot the ball? 
Let's shoot the ball, guys. Come on. There you go. Hit, hit threes. Pull up for three now. Pull up for three. Pull up for three. Come on. There you go. Come on. Fight him. Screen and roll drill. Good job. Come on. I just come to tell you guys, man, out of all this conversation, God first, work until, all right? Get serious, lock in, all right? I need laser focus from this point on and just come together as a group, all right? Can we do that? Good job, fellas, good job, man. So everybody bring it in real quick, bring it in. Bring it in, man. Oh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. I'm gonna say one, two, three. You're gonna say work. Four, five, six, until. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, three, work. Four, five, six, until. Good job, man. So you, you got Karan Guy, and I want to personally thank you for checking out this documentary. Uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears was put into this documentary as far as uh, me traveling around the country and just showing you guys a little bit of what I do uh, behind the scenes and some of the players that I work with. Um, it's just my my lifelong dream to help others, and that's what I'm doing. So if you'd like to connect with me, uh, you can go to jumpstarhoops.com, uh, sign up for my email newsletter. Make sure you have that app, the Coach Godwin app. Um, it serves as a basketball trainer in your pocket, all right? You can, you can any drill you want to do, you can just scroll all the drills. Uh, I have a great podcast show. I interview college coaches to give you some insight of what you have to do to get to the next level. And uh, just overall insight in basketball, basketball, basketball. So as always, God first, take the players to work until.